Hello colleagues, welcome to ESL Teaching Tips for the Academic Year 2023-2024. In our Teaching Tips series, we try to share knowledge, connect with others, learn from each other, so we can better support our student success. This teaching tip is called Speed Dating Conversation Activities in Zoom. These activities can be a fun, engaging way to have students use the English language and practice pronunciation skills as well. So let's delve in and see how you can use these to spice up your class. First, let's look at the reasons why these activities could be helpful. Number one, you can engage students with the language, have students engage with the language and incorporate communicative activities in your course. Number two, you can have students practice conversation and pronunciation using the new vocabulary or reviewing the vocabulary you have taught, um, focusing on pre-reading discussions or critical thinking, um, conversation with grammar, etc. Number three, um, you can have students connect with various classmates, get to know each other and have fun. So first, let's take a look at the instructions that you should share with your students. First, uh, explain to the students that they're going to go in the break room with a classmate or two. Um, assign a specific time for them, three to five minutes. Uh, to discuss the questions that you will share in the breakout room. And after the assigned time, three to five minutes, the students will be moved to a different breakout room. So it's important to share these instructions with the students, both orally and in written form, to meet the accessibility piece. Now, let's take a look at the instructions for, in, for teachers. Step number one. Share with students a list of questions to prepare responses in advance. We know that when teaching ESL learners, it's a good practice to allow them time to retrieve not only the information, but also the necessary language to express themselves. Some of the example questions that you may use for this particular activity are introduction questions, targeted vocabulary practice, grammar, or discussion topics. Step number two, set up breakout rooms, ideally three students. Um, the reason why you may do that is because sometimes a student may have internet challenges or audio um, issues and so on and so forth. So how you set up your breakout rooms? Um, this is a screenshot um, explaining the three big steps here. Um, check off the automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. Um, second, auto-close breakout rooms after the designated time that you choose, three or five minutes. Um, and also alert students of uh, closing the rooms by setting the countdown timer to whatever you think is necessary. Step number three, share your screen to breakout rooms to show one or two questions, or depending on how many you choose, but not too many, from the list each round. So here are the steps. Um, in your Zoom account, select more, and then share to breakout rooms. Ensure that you are screen sharing to breakout rooms by looking at the green um, toolbar at the top of the screen. Now you may wonder, what are you going to do if you share screen? Typically, if you do that, you cannot engage in each breakout room. So you need two electronic devices. You can use a laptop and a phone. So how you do that, you can share screen from the host device. Um, you want to make sure that you also leave the computer audio and mute yourself on the host device. And then you join breakout rooms from the co-host device. This way you can monitor the student's interaction. Step number four, 
give students time to talk about the questions in breakout rooms, maybe two to five minutes, depending on the activity. Um, again, it's crucial we allow students time to talk, collect their ideas, and find the necessary grammar, vocabulary to express themselves. Also, monitor students in breakout rooms by clicking on participants. Again, sometimes it happens that a student has to leave early or they have internet uh, connectivity issues and other unexpected um, situations that may arise. Step number five, close the breakout rooms and once the students return to the main room, recreate the uh, new breakout rooms by clicking the button recreate. Here you have a lot of sample activities with instructions for students. So by clicking on that um, link, you will be able to see a variety of speed dating conversation activities on Zoom. Finally, I want to leave by telling you that there are so many resources for conversation practice, but I selected a few here to share with you and also give credit to uh, Monica Cueva and Diana Vera Alba, who actually um, inspired me to create this for you. Thank you very much.